Good afternoon, teachers. We wanted to share a video to help assist you with the Mardi Gras ticket booth. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication for making the school a great place. Happy, Happy Mardi, Mardi Gras! Thank you so much for volunteering in the ticket booth during our annual Mardi Gras festival. I would like to share with you some steps to make this process a little easier and to relieve a little stress you may be feeling. This manual will stay in the ticket booth should you need to reference it. Step one is our home screen. Select the square icon. This is your Mardi Gras ticket booth register. Make sure you always begin a sale on this screen. If you accidentally click out of it, just select checkout and make sure it is on Mardi Gras ticket booth. To begin a sale, select the item your customer would like to purchase. For example, Annie would like to purchase six ride tickets. You can tap the item six times or you can select under the current sale column the item listed in blue. You can change the quantity of the item Annie wishes to purchase by using the plus or minus options or double tapping. and you can change the quantity of the tickets. Select return and save. Add any additional items by repeating the previous steps. If no other items are needed, select charge. Ask the customer how they wish to pay. We only accept cash or credit. Some devices have Apple Pay. For a cash sale, select the exact amount listed. If customer has exact change, or select custom, which allows you to type in the amount of cash the customer gives you. Enter the amount of cash the customer hands you and select tender. Square will tell you how much change to give back to the customer. For a credit card sale, insert the card into the Square Reader or place the credit card on top of the Square Reader to tap or swipe the Meg strip of the credit card through the Square Reader if plugged into the iPad directly. If none of these options work, you can select manual credit card entry and input all credit card information, including the zip code associated with the credit card. Once one of the options listed above is performed, you will see the next screen. Um, then you will see the screen. You can bypass the screen and begin a new sale by selecting new sale in the top left corner or select an option below and ask the customer their information to send them a receipt. If you select an option to send a receipt, you will then see the screen. Select new sale to help the next customer. Thank you so much and we appreciate your help and look forward to a fun and successful event. If you are in the ticket booth and if you can't and if you run into any issues, please contact Tammy at 561-859-3739. Thank you.